here we go with the foundation. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I am bringing you a foundation review and it is the Ordinary Full Coverage Coverage Foundation. Now, I got some stuff to say about this. So if you're ready, then I'm ready. So let's get started. Before we get started, I do want to say welcome to all of our new family members out there. And in case you're not familiar with me yet, my name is Melissa Leah Garrett and I'm a cruelty-free makeup and beauty reviewer. I'm a makeup enthusiast, a plus size beauty, and a PNH and ITP fighter. If you'd like to know more about those two diseases, there are videos down below in my playlist that you could check out. Also, while you're at it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button to join the fam and hit that notification bell. Therefore, you know when I'm posting, even though I mainly post on Tuesdays and Fridays. Also, give this video a like while you're at it. I am bringing you a foundation review from The Ordinary. And the one that I tried today is the Full Coverage Coverage Foundation High Coverage Foundation Formula. That's what it says on the box. I mean, I wonder if it's foundation and I wonder if it has coverage. <laughs> now, I also wanted to try out their concealer and I thought I purchased it but I didn't. I actually got the light coverage serum foundation, but I don't try it out today. I just tried the full coverage one. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and just talk about this bad boy. So as you guys know, The Ordinary does have a vast skincare line and it's very inexpensive too. But now they're starting to get into the makeup portion of it. Um, and we have the two foundations. Like I said earlier in the intro, I did want to try the concealer, but I didn't buy the concealer even though I thought I was. <laughs> and then I realized that at Ulta, they didn't even have the concealer. So oops <laughs> but i am going to try out the coverage foundation for you guys today i do have the shade 1.1 n which is fair neutral i get a lot of questions as to how i match my um, foundation so well i just go by my undertone for a while i did think i had a pink undertone because i do have redness to my skin but then i realized that it was just making me look completely weird and then I realized I am a neutral undertone I will place the link in the description box for you guys so you can um it'll help you pinpoint what undertone you have so you can get a better shade match for your foundation but I was very interested in the ordinary foundation and it says color formulations with mindfulness it says on the side a high coverage creamy foundation that softens undesirable hues now when I hear that I hear redness I hear dark circle itis I hear um, dark spots age spots you know when I hear undesirable hues those are what I'm thinking of and that's what I want to cover the most mainly my redness my dark circle itis and my baseball spot I have right here. I do have a few dark patches from when, you know, I picked up my acne, stupid me. But overall, my main concern is my redness, my dark circle itis and my baseball spot. Um, for those of you who are new and don't know what my baseball spot is, I have this red circle area right here on this cheek from when I got hit in the face with the baseball when I was about 12 or 13. <laughs> what I did with this product is I did apply it on camera for you guys and I showed you the comparison from one side of my face to the other side of my face on the coverage and then I did I guess you can call them check-ins throughout the uh throughout the wear of the foundation when I put down the rest of my products and then I went and filmed another video on top of this one and wore the foundation through that so I want to go ahead and show you guys how this applied. Let's go ahead and get this foundation down. I have not done my face and my eyes in a long time. So yeah, I got to get used to the skin. <laughs> For my primer, I did use the um, Touch and Soul no, no Pore Blend Prime Essence and the Elf Poreless Putty Primer in case you guys were wondering. I am going to use the full coverage coverage foundation that's what it's called because you know my dumb tail thought that I bought the concealer but I actually bought the light coverage serum foundation 
So yeah, <laughs> we're going to go with the high coverage foundation formula first. If you guys want me to try this out on camera, just let me know. I think I may keep it for Instagram. Not sure yet. Okay, so it does come in a pump bottle like this. This is the pump. You do get one fluid ounce of product. I have the shade 1.1N, which is fair neutral. And I'm just going to place it on my little palette mabob. Don't have to pump it too much to get the product out. There's a light scent to it. It's like, I don't know, it kind of smells like paint. It does, it kind of smells like paint. Um, I'm going to apply it with my BH Cosmetics number two brush from the Midnight Festival um, brush set. This is clean. It's just stained. So we shall see how full coverage this is. All right, so this is with one layer down. As you can see, there is quite a bit of difference on my face as far as coverage. It's a medium coverage right now, so I think I can build it up to a full. So I am going to do the rest of my face, um, apply the foundation, and I will be right back. Okay, so oh, this is what it looks like applied to my face. It's a really good um really good shade match for me. Um, I did build up a little bit more right here, my baseball spot and a little bit right here where I have this crater at that won't go away. And it did a decent job. There is a little bit of luminosity going on, not too much. So it's not a flat matte foundation. It does give you a little bit of a glow. So it looks more healthy. Um, and then a regular flat matte foundation and it's very lightweight. That's what I like about it. It's got a it's got really good coverage. I don't want to say decent. It's got good coverage because you guys saw the before when I had them side by side, but um, it's very lightweight for that amount of coverage and it's really nice. And I said that it did have a fragrance when it was pumped out of the bottle, but it, I don't smell it on my face. So that's a good thing. Um, maybe it's just because it's new. I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to time lapse doing the rest of my face um, as far as contour powder and everything like that see how it sets and then I will be right back All right, so this is what we have going on so far. Now, the concealer I used was the Essence Camouflage Matte Concealer. And when I put that down and then set underneath my eyes, it didn't work all that great. Um, it's really accenting my um, under eye wrinkles and it looks really, really, not cakey, but it just looks really gross. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Um, but I don't think this foundation likes powder at all because I'm looking around and it just, it didn't set right. I don't know. I used my Tarte, um, I used my Tarte Shape Tape setting powder and then I put a little bit of the e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder on it and it just doesn't want to seem right. It's just seems like it's just sitting on top of my skin. It's not going into my skin and it's, ugh. I don't know. And it's accenting my pores. It's not as bad as the last foundation I used. I can't remember which one it was. But it, it's not cute. We'll say, we'll keep it at that. Um, this is what it looks like. I mean, it's not cute at all. It just did not want to set at all. It. I don't know what the deal is. 
So I am going to go film my other video for my eye look and I will be right back with my final thoughts. Okay, so I filmed my other video and I started editing it and I need to get this makeup off. The foundation is horrendous looking. It may look okay on camera, but in person, it is so bad. I don't know what it is, but it just does not want to sink into my skin and it doesn't set right. It's breaking up right here along my nose, it, along my noses. <laughs> Breaking up right here along my nose, it's just, it looks really gross. And, oh, this is what it looks like up close. What, what is this? I've never had a foundation do this to me before. I don't know. I don't know if it's the combination of the concealer, setting powder, setting spray, what? But this just did not want to work. So I am going to, I'm going to play with it a little bit more to see if it is the combination of concealers, setting powders, setting sprays and whatnot to see if it makes it look better. It, but I haven't even had it on for, I want to say two hours, two and a half hours. And it looks like this. It's just is bad. And I don't know if I even want to try the light coverage one. I'm not sure. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give this a few more tries and let you guys know probably next week how it went. Hey guys, so it's the next day and I wanted to give you guys this little update about this foundation. Um... I have some little breakouts going on. This one's been there. I have this one coming right here, this one here, and this one here. And I have never had a foundation do that for, to me before. And that's the only thing that I changed in my routine was using this foundation. So I am definitely not going to try this foundation anymore because I don't want it to break me out even more than what it already has. So yeah. Sorry, guys. It ain't happening. <laughs> if you are interested in getting either the serum foundation or the coverage foundation, you can get it at um, Ulta and on the Ordinary's website. Um, at Ulta, the serum foundation is $6.70 and the coverage foundation is $6.90. Um, but like I said, I will let you guys know how the coverage foundation works. I'll also try it with different primers as well to see if it's the primers. And that is all that I have for you guys today. Don't forget, all my social media handles will be down in the description box. Come on over, we have fun on those pages as well. I do not, however, have a Twitter account, so if you happen to see one with my face and this gorgeous smile, report it because it's fake. Also, all the rest of the products that I use today for this makeup look will be down in the description box as well. Also, don't forget, on my last video, I do have a giveaway going on, so make sure you enter. I love y'all so much, and I will see y'all next time. Bye! Ugh, my face looks rough. Rough. <laughs> this foundation is doing me dirty. I don't know if I can try it anymore. <laughs> I want to know is, why the 20 cent difference?